Hi, I'm Paris, and as I've gotten older, I find I really appreciate gifts that keep me warm. Recently, I've reviewed some mucklucks for keeping feet warm, rechargeable hand warmer for keeping the hands warm, and a book for that special someone in your life, heartwarming. But today I'm reviewing a product that would be perfect for an avid gamer, someone who spends a lot of hours on the computer. It is a USB powered heated mouse pad. And I've got to tell you, now that it's gotten colder, I really need this when I'm playing Overwatch 2 or StarCraft 2 online with my brother. My right hand that's on the mouse for an hour and a half at a time just gets frozen. The fingers don't want to move anymore. This, if it works well, is going to be the perfect solution to that. It doesn't require batteries. It's powered by USB ports. Well, if you're on your computer, you certainly have some of those nearby. Also, it has three temperatures you can set three timers for how long it stays on. And my understanding is it doesn't just heat the mouse pad to keep the, your fingertips warm, it creates a mouse micro environment so your whole hand stays warm. Let's check it out. More than just a mouse pad, it is a mouse muff. It creates this environment for your hand to sit in while using your mouse on this mouse pad. The controller plugs into the USB and some quick instructions. And these are some simple instructions. Plug it in, turn it on. You can set it for 110 degrees Fahrenheit, 130 Fahrenheit, or 145 Fahrenheit. Ooh, that's getting warm. You can also set it to automatically shut off after two, four, or eight hours. Man, I am not that dedicated a gamer that I need it for eight hours. This USB heated mouse pad goes for about $25. You can find out more about it at the link down below this video. I'm going to go plug it in and do a little gaming. Let's see how it works. All right, on the right is my mouse and mouse pad that I've been using for decades. I do like having the wrist rest. Fortunately, this new one has a small wrist rest little uh, gel bump in it. We'll see if that's going to be enough for me or if I need to try to slide this into this. And here on the controller, the top button controls the time. Two hours, four hours, eight hours. And then from low, medium, high for the temperature. So let's turn it on here. Green, I guess, that means it is low. Medium, high, okay. And then off, okay. Go into green, and we'll leave it at the two hours. Now, where is the heating device in this heated mouse pad? Well, it seems to not actually be in the mouse pad part of it. Here's the, where the power line comes in, but I noticed I don't know if you can see inside here. The line comes in and then it goes up. It actually goes up into this pocket. So the heating portion of this heated mouse pad actually is up here inside of this rather than down below your hand. So when you have your hand inside, as I mentioned, it's sort of a micro environment. The heater up here will heat the whole area inside. So you have the heat basically radiating down on the back of your hand rather than coming up through the bottom of the mouse pad. And this opening at the end that the power line comes in is also where you have to run the USB cable from your mouse out through in order to plug it back into the computer, unless of course you have a wireless mouse. My mouse is now in its micro environment. When I put my hand in there, oh, I can feel that heating pad because it rests on the back of my fingers. So I definitely feel the warmth from it. I kind of wish I could like puff this up so it would sit over my hand and heat the back of my hand rather than being rather than touching the back of my hand. Also the bump here, the little gel pad, that's not as much as I'm used to for a wrist rest. So I'd like to use my own. Yeah, it's not too bad. Well, what can I tell? Let me play a little and see. All right, I'm trying to sit over to the side here to not block your view. I also found if I take the gel pack out of my other mouse pad and put it on here, I, it actually, now it's not so bad, the positioning. I think a little bit used to. It is nice having that warmth on the back of my hand, even if it is actually sitting on the back of my hand, I gotta say, that's yeah, so much nicer than the cold I'm used to. Wow. Come on, there we go. Got a kill. Come on. Okay. 
Let's see what we've learned. That I'm not a very good player. But beside that, besides that, let's see what we've learned. So I solved part of my issue by taking the gummy wrist support out of my other mouse pad and putting it here. Now it doesn't stay in place, so it was sliding around while I was playing. Not ideal, but made it much more comfortable. I've actually already gotten used to having this resting on the back of my hand, and I kind of like it because it kept my hand so nice and warm. On a cold day like it is out today, it didn't get into above the 40s. My hand, after a half hour of playing, I've got to all oh, stretch the fingers and try to keep them warm. This made it so nice. It really is a warm micro environment in here. Now I've got it on the lowest heat setting. So desk temperature. 73. Okay, what about right next to the mouse on the mouse pad in there? 76. Okay. How about a little further back in there? 79, 80, and if I bounce it up here on the top of this, let's see. Oh, 104, 106. Okay, I've given it 15 minutes at medium temperature. Let's see what it's looking like in the micro environment now. Oh, 79 on the floor. 81 as we go further back. Oh, 116. Yeah, definitely warm it up. Okay, let's go to high temperature and see what that does. Oh, 125. That's a little warmer than I want resting on my hand, honestly. I don't think I'd use the highest setting. So I finished that game out, and believe it or not, my team won. May not have been due to me, but still, my team won. Now, I did, I, I continued to play for a few more games after that. Got used to the, the heating element being on top of my hand. Not my favorite thing, but boy, when I took my hand out and was just working on the computer without the heat on it, I missed it so much. My hands are cold right now. And all I can think is, oh, it'd be so nice to have it back inside of here, working on the mouse with that heating right on the back of the knuckles. So as much as it's kind of irritating to have the hand rubbing there, it's comforting to have the heat right there. I'm kind of torn on recommending the USB heated mouse pad because two things they could have done would have made it so much better. One, they could have provided some framework for keeping this up. I don't know what, some, you know, plastic things inside, some ribs or something to just hold it up off your hand. I can't imagine it would have been that hard. And with a little more rigid framework, maybe they could have made it so that this bottom part would just come right out. I would really like to be able to use my mouse pad, my wrist rest. If I could just keep my mouse pad, but just have this as sort of the dome that would go over my hand and provide the heat to the back of it, Boy, would that be perfect. But for now, I don't know of any other product other than wearing a glove that's gonna keep your hand warm while you're doing extended bouts of gaming. So I would say this is, it does the job, just not in the best way I would like it to. Again, it's about $25. You can find out more about it at the link down below this video. Till something better comes along, I could see someone who spends a lot of time at the computer and that mousing hand is always getting cold, that they would really would appreciate this gift as it is right now. And I'll appreciate seeing you on the next review.